getting as narrowly focused on a niche as you can. Like that's been our success in insurance is we're extremely, extremely narrow in the niche of people that we serve. And um, yeah, with life insurance, but like within the people that we actually sell to, like it's extremely narrow. And by doing that, we've been able to build all these systems around that particular person. Obviously, I'm in insurance sales. Um, and in the very beginning, our company uh, tried to be all things to all people. Um, like many other businesses uh, attempt, especially in the beginning. So within the insurance industry, I mean, we would do life insurance, not just life insurance, but all types of life insurance, uh, retirement plans, uh, property and casualty, uh, you name it, you know, premium, um, uh, fine, it's all kinds of different stuff within the insurance industry. And oftentimes I talk to financial advisors that do kind of a, a full scope of all uh, financial advising and all types of investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, annuities, life insurance, heavy on the life insurance side, heavy on the estate planning side, heavy on the this, that, private equity, um, you know, just trying, trying to be, again, all things to all people. When our company uh, attempted to do that, they failed. Um, and what they realized is that there was power and focus. So the fox tries to use like all these different strategies to yep. try to catch the hedgehog, sneaking up on him, racing him, playing dead, all these things. But every time it's always defeated. The fox never learns that the hedgehog knows how to do one thing perfectly, and that is just to defend itself. Defend himself. And that's all it has to do. It's very um, simple. So hedgehogs, however, are slow and steady. Uh, and people often overlook them because they're quiet and unassuming. But unlike the fox, they are able to simplify the world and focus on one overarching vision. It's this principle that guides everything they do and helps them to succeed against all odds. So many of you have probably read the book Good to Great, Jim Collins. That's great. Uh, which is a great book, but <laughs> great. It's, it's, yeah, it looks great. Good to Great. Um, but he kind of developed that idea a little further in that book. And so he talks about how organizations are more likely to succeed if they focus on one thing focus. and do that one thing well. By doing so, they can beat their competitors and become truly great businesses. That's incredible. That is exactly what you guys have done with yeah. our, within our business is, and this is advice we give often to people, and it's that, you know, trying to be all things to all people, um, having this just extensive product line mix, you know, and having all these different solutions. If you can just get one solution, one product, and just become the very best person That's at the that way to do one it. product and become the expert in that field, um, then that's how you open up doors and become synonymous with that pro like yeah. that whole industry. They're like, oh, you know about widgets? Oh, you need to talk to, to Joseph because- He's the widget he's, master. He's, that's, that's all he does. We serve. We are here to serve. I'm not selling you anything. I'm serving you. But I'm only able to serve you because I put in the amount of work and put in a level of respect to give you something in the way that you want to receive it. And that is serving. Um, serving is providing a, a solution for a need, for providing a solution for a problem. That's serving. So when you talk about being a servant leader, like you can be a servant salesperson. I don't even know if that word exists, but you can be that if you go all in and studying and and really understanding the psychology of the person that is on the other side of the table from you every single day.